is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster. Welcome to Paranormal Inc. I am incredibly excited to check this little indie game out. This is a I'm an observation duty type game. But there's a very cool and unique aspect of this. This game uses all real footage rather than just being a like game engine kind of assets. So let's just get straight into this. After months of looking for a job, I finally found this job. The job description seemed simple. I was going to sit by the monitor and report any unusual changes. Under normal circumstances, I can't deal with this paranormal BS. But I needed the money. Internal test copy. We don't have a cat. A young couple with a baby have reported strange happenings at home for some time now. Things were moving and disappearing. They haven't been home for a week. Report any abnormality you see. Okay. Let's check this out. Oh, this is... This is cool. This is cool. Okay. So, oh my gosh, displacement, disappearing, extra, reflection, a mirror, reflection on glass, lights on off, door open, window open, closed, device on off, ghost slash monster, alien creature, human shaped, animal shaped, sound noise, cover opened slash closed, drawer open, closed, and other. That is a lot of things to keep track of. So we have two cameras, three cameras, four cameras, five cameras, we have five cameras in total. What's really, what, what really is interesting to me about this game is a uh, fun fact. I, I wasn't going to talk about any of this until I potentially made something, but I have been trying to learn how to make a game in Unreal Engine because I wanted to do almost this exact same thing. <laughs> um, I wanted to make an observation duty type of game and use real life as the assets, almost exactly how this is. Um, I just did not know how to <laughs> code anything. <laughs> and I've been learning Unreal and it's been very difficult and I've really wanted to get through it. Um, but uh, yeah, this guy beat me to the punch, <laughs> apparently. This is, but this is very cool. It, it, it doesn't mean I still can't do what I was thinking of doing because it'd be in a completely different way. I, I like that the fact that this guy used his own house, I'm, I'm assuming, to make this. I, I don't even know what to look for is the problem. The fact that it's like a like a handheld, like old camcorder, that's like kind of blurry image too, definitely makes this uh, a little bit more difficult to try to catch what may change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> reflection on glass? <laughs> got it, got it. Wait, why is the... <laughs> why is the music so intense? Not only not found. Uh, is that a cover? I love SF. Yeah, oh, okay, it's a cover. Got it. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Interesting. Oh, what happened to the thing that was right here? Uh, object missing? Object disappeared. There's something right here and right here. Two different things. Yeah, there's that guy. Let's do the same thing. Object disappeared. We have the laundry basket, right? Wait. I swear I saw a laundry basket, right? Or was that somewhere else? That's a light on or off. Send it, please. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, wait, what happened to a laundry basket? Let's do displacement. I don't think there's any penalty for getting something wrong, per se. No? Am I, am I imagining seeing whatever was there before? I like this little guy. <laughs> little plushy. I don't know what I'm looking for. I feel like, no, no. I feel like I'm just peeping through this guy's house. <laughs> there it is. Hi. Displacement. Is it in here? I don't think you're supposed to be there. Not found. Extra object? Let's see. Not found. Too Wait, too many false reports? 
What? Nine out of eight nollies? Five? Oh. Wait. <laughs> I didn't know I could not do too many. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I was doing so well, too. Crap. All right, well, we'll get another look here. So, starting in the first room, computer's on, there's a little iPad, jacket on the chair. There's this little filing cabinet back here, same with the one down here. I think that's about it. So you're supposed to be there. Painting picture up on the wall. No basket this time around, but there's these bags, little iPad mini, mirror, little neck pillow. I think that's about it, that's all I need to look at. Coming into here, this is all these little snow globes. Nothing seems to be in the window. Got a little desk set up over here. Kind of a little cozy little spot. And in the kitchen, we have a knife, sponge, mugs. Again, I don't know how in-depth this guy went with like moving some of these objects around. What would be really difficult with this, and is something that I was kind of struggling with trying to figure out, is if there's multiple anomalies active in the same room, how do you account for filming that? Um, do, you, do you film every possible scenario with every possible combination? That would require quite a lot of assets uh, to get through. Hmm. Little pause button. That's nice. Put that in. Paper towels, water bottle, empty bottle, rather. Light, was that on or off? Also, what is that that I'm looking at? I don't know. Camera angle off on this one? I think we're okay. There's something in the mirror? Looks like something is right there. It's like a big nose, two eyes. It's like a cartoon kind of ghost type thing. Sponge, mugs, knife, paper towel. Something feel off about this? I don't know if it is. Wait, what was that noise? There's definitely a sound or noise here. Not found. No, I heard that. It's doom, doom, doom. What? Can't tell me it's not there anymore. Also, it's already 3 a.m. and I haven't filed a single correct anomaly. So I'm wondering. <laughs> I'm wondering if I. Gosh dang it. <laughs> okay, so that noise stays for a very long time. Oh, hi! <laughs> Look at you! <laughs> Got it, got it. Okay, so those noises stay for quite a while, even after you've solved the anomaly. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> ah, you're not supposed to be there. Extra object, send it. Little workout ball. <laughs> cool. Got him. Get out of here. I'm the anomaly master. Nobody can stop me. Animal shaped, human shaped, alien slash creature, ghost slash monster. I want to see these ones. Device on slash off. So that's got to be like the iPad, the computer. It's not going to be the lights on and off. It's a totally different thing. Oh, it looks... Like the lights turned off in here. Yes, cool. Does this one only go till six, by the way? I feel like we're getting through this really quickly. 
something flickering right here. This is a really cool, really cool observation duty game. Let's see what we can find around here. I'm not seeing anything. We also haven't failed, and it's almost 5 a.m. I'm really trying to focus here. Really not seeing anything. I'm worried that I'm just gonna lose out of nowhere. Like, I don't know if they warn you on this one either. If there's too many anomalies active. Like you, you look way too close to the edge. So should I try displacement? I'm worried that if I do too many of these bad ones, we're just gonna lose. <gasps> okay, cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, that seemed a little out of place compared to everything else. <clears throat> the neck pillow. Well, iPad mini. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Reflection on glass. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> See you later, buddy. See you later. Is there another one? There's gotta be another one. What is happening? What is happening? Reported anomalies, 8 out of 11. False reports, 2. Success rate, 55%. Wait, success rate below 80%. Police are... Wait, what? Did I not beat it? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Did I not beat it? <laughs> I don't think I beat it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Gosh dang it. All right, let's do it again. All right. So let's look around, figure out what we need. This is on. Got the bags. This weird pillow, different color is there. A little strawberry neck pillow. This looks like a dragon fruit. <laughs> I, I can't not keep looking at this and wondering what this actually is, but it looks like a dragon fruit cut in half right down the center. See the inside of it with the uh, the flesh, the fruit on the inside, and then the, the red skin on the outside. It's just what I see. Okay, so we got to keep looking. Gotta make sure we're keeping up, keeping track. So apparently if you're not at 80% correct reporting, you just lose? I'm a little unsure on how this is uh, functioning here. So we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best to get through this. I'm trying to think like, do, do I need to focus on these like little, these little things? It's harder when it's um, like a low definition video like this. Because my brain can't pinpoint, oh yes, that's a eyeglass case, a blue leather eyeglass case and a lint roller. Instead, it's just like, this is just kind of a blue rectangle and maybe a lint roller, I don't know. So it's like, there's not a uh, sufficient amount of visual detail in some of the objects to like really get a good pinpoint of being like, oh yeah, dragon fruit, computer monitor, snow globes. It's like this, this room's, they're more obvious, but. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, reflection on glass. Send it. Go away. <laughs> Little zombie dude. Is that something too or no? Are there more? <laughs> what is happening? No, that was it. it <laughs> It does. The audio lasts for so long. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, I haven't got anything wrong yet. That's good, I guess, right? Not too bad. Ooh, okay. So what would this be? Door, window, open, close. Let's try that. Yeah, sweet. Animali removed. Cool. Knife, sponge, mugs. Nothing else is open except for the dishwasher. It's just slightly ajar. Maybe they're just helping to get the moisture in the machine kind of dissipated. I don't know. Nothing's looking out of the ordinary here. Ah, you're not supposed to be open. So that was a cover? No. What was that supposed to be? It's not door. I guess, I think it was cover. I don't know what a cover is. <laughs> uh, but sure, we got it. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Hey, all the devices look fine. Everything looks out of place here. Still got this. Random reflection. Ah, object disappeared. Come back, body pillow or uh, neck pillow. Thank you. Gotta have my strawberry neck pillow. Zipelo. Dibili. Knife, sponge, mugs. Everything else looks good. Looks good on that end. Everything looks okay here. Hmm. Oh, you weren't there before, little hamster. You're an extra object, unless you moved. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Get out of here, little guy. Nice sponge punks. Nothing in the mirror or window. See, that's something, too. The, like, major anomalies. Or at least the scary ones. You'll, you'll know every time that they're there. Because there's so much audio that plays when you... Where'd it go? Disappeared. So much audio that plays when you uh, when they happen upon the screen. Impossible to miss. Which I guess is uh, pretty similar to. Gosh, my nose is itchy. Uh, pretty similar to some of the other observation duty games. When there's like a big big scary scare, they they want you the player to to know that it's there and hopefully get scared from it. Oh, oh! There's a man watching me. Human shaped. Right up there. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. It's a little creeper. <laughs> Love that. This music is going wild. Absolutely insanity. Want to see some of these other ones? The ghost monster, alien creature, animal shaped. It's more of like the sound anomalies. That'd be fun. So far, I'm not really... I'm just getting pretty basic ones at this point. I mean, uh, the ones in the... In the the mirror, glass, and Mr. Creeper. Those ones are pretty good, but they're they're almost too hard to see. Which I know it's intentional that they do that like that. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> That's a good one. Um are you just human shaped? Or are you ghost? <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. That's really, really fun. See, this is what I'm hoping for. <laughs> what do you mean below 80%? So, by 6 a.m., I'm supposed to have reported X amount of anomalies out of 11? 
So it seems like it's always out of 11 at the end of it, if I'm not mistaken. So, what? Do I need to have just 10 out of 11 then every time? So I, I need to like actually count the anomalies maybe. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I would love to have a, here's an explanation of the game. Um, and in fact, let me, uh, let me pull it up. So let's see. After looking for a job for a long time, you started as an operator in a company named Paranormal Inc. You'll watch live CCT footage and report the anomalies you see. Games using a technology developed by him. Uh, that you can play game with real life footages. A to D, space to open report window, localize if you like the game. That's it, that's all the info. Wait, version 1.1? Wait, what version is this? <laughs> I downloaded this uh, over a day ago. So when it first came out, like literally when it came out, I downloaded it. Um, it's like nobody's played it, just a couple people. So I guess there's a new version? <laughs> Slow down the time a bit. Replace some ghost tags with human shape because they actually look like human shaped. Replace some cover tags with door because they look like doors. Oh, yeah, I'm not even playing the most up-to-date version of the game. <laughs> Incredible. All right, well, I'll have to jump back into this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> once more with the most up-to-date version. I'm curious if there's multiple levels, not just the we don't have a cat. Because um, it seems like there's a lot of space for a lot of different levels here to check out. So I'm really excited. Again, this has a fantastic concept behind it. I'd really like to see more from this game and hopefully see some more updates too. Hopefully more people get a chance to check this one out as well. Um, as with all of these games, I'll, I'll have the where to download this on itch.io in the description, or you can just look back a few seconds to the page I was on. That's the whole webpage. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts and feelings on this. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. If you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.